Brandon, man, I am once again knocked to my knees with, with another beautiful build of yours, man. We were just outside looking at this truck. We walked all the way around it and we got a little bit of a snowstorm out there, but we still had a good time looking at it, man. But I need you to show me the really juicy part behind this truck. Man, you got all these bay doors and stuff on it. What, what, what's, what's going on with this particular unit? Absolutely, Quinn. Thanks, thanks again for, for coming to ARI uh, on this Monday. Uh, yeah, it, the weather didn't quite cooperate with us for an outdoor shoot, so uh, we had to do what we did here, uh, pulling it inside. Um, this is a 192 sleeper with full skirts um, on a Volvo chassis uh, for my customer, Chris Wittenberg. Um, he came to me and, and kind of told me a little bit about what he wanted and, and then I kind of took it from there. Um, so just to begin, um, you know, obviously we have the awning up top. We got the strip light instead of the clearance lights uh, shining down on the ground. Looks real cool at night. We did something that we haven't done very much of here in the back. Uh, we did some uh, strip lighting inside the fairing enclosures here to give it that nice clean look wow red strip light around yeah that is really really cool i like that very that is... very, very clean looking um, now get to your juicy part Quinn. <laughs> we'll uh open these doors up here uh chris did tell me he kind of wanted the outdoor entertainment set up so uh i was able to to do that for him with uh, you know a 32 inch uh, Samsung Smart TV. Wow. With the with the JBL sound bar behind it. Outstanding. Look at that, guys. And then uh, I even uh, I even got him a pull out grill here for it. <laughs> um, for for having all them uh, for all them parties Chris likes to have. <laughs> Beautiful. Look at that, guys. How about that? Now, I know this is no, no no common application to this, Brandon. So, man, I see this. This what's what's with these skirts and stuff that you got on here, man? This is a this is a full skirt option, um, kind of like most people refer to it as, a, as, as kind of a bust look. Okay. Um, so this is this is always an option. Um, to get this option, you have to go to the custom side versus our Legacy Two line. So, okay. Uh, that's that's what Chris wanted. He wanted the full skirt look. And uh, so that's what we're building. Now, when you open up the door, you got the step, the step uh, access comes out and um, and everything with that, correct? Yes. So when you open up the side door, the step automatically closed, opens and closes with the door. And then uh, let's go ahead and take this awning out. Okay. I'm trying to show you how this works here. Check this out, guys. How cool is that? Look at this. <laughs> now guys, the background noise, what you hear is actually, uh, we're in the shop, so they're still working on some sleepers on the other side. So that's what you're hearing in the background. Now, Quinn, this is a 12 foot awning width wise and it extends out 10 foot. Wow. And Look it at that. Leg here that you can pull out and you can you can take those legs and attach them here to the side of the sleeper in these brackets. Mm -hmm. Or you can set them straight down into the ground and put like a tent stake in them. And then you can adjust the height of the the awning. Man, this is unbelievable. Really, really cool. So, Brandon, you said this would be, of course, on the custom side and um, would be something that, you know, once you get to the rest area or wherever you're going to be sitting for a while, you can actually instant tailgate almost, correct? Sure, absolutely. Now, uh, most of our customers, you know, they, they build these, these big sleepers uh, to kind of avoid the, the truck stop. So, gotcha. Um, something like this is, is probably going to be spend a lot of its downtime uh, in campgrounds. So, gotcha. Uh, okay. That, that's why he wanted the awning, outdoor entertainment, uh, for when he's down uh, for a couple days, and, and he will uh, go to a campground. Fantastic. Category. 
Brandon, man, you got to show me. It's so much stuff in this one, man. You're going to have to walk me through this one. All right. let's, let's take a look right. at inside. Come on in. Man, look at this. Storage abound in this unit. <laughs> so we'll, we'll start off with the cab. You got the uh, the ARI high rise here with the with the cabinets up here above the cab. One over the driver's seat. You come back in here. You got uh, all kinds of storage here. Uh, Chris wanted a couple file file cabinet drawers, so we made him some file cabinet drawers here. Um, Obviously, we got uh, we got the new 52-inch ARI shower here. It's our biggest shower to date, with the customer-supplied uh, tile up top. That is real tile. Wow. We got uh, the tank monitor gauge um, that tells you the tank level for tank one and tank two. We got the 54-inch side bed with customer-supplied mattress with the upper bunk. Um, we got more storage over here, Quinn. Um, we got the Samsung customer supplied refrigerator. Down here, we got, uh, we wow. got a pull out dishwasher. <laughs> Look at that, guys. <laughs> Pretty cool. That is cool. Uh, we got uh, we got the 43 inch TV over here in the corner um, that can be pulled open. Uh, with this nice nice uh, wood cabinet behind it with storage behind mm -hmm. the TV and access behind the TV for all your, wow. your cords and, and inputs and stuff for the TV. Look at that guys. Another again another JBL sound bar. We got uh, we got the Corian countertops with the recessed uh, sink and we got uh, we got the one burner recessed induction cooktop here. Mm-hmm. And we got uh, several outlets along the back wall. We got uh, we got a, a pop-up recep here with a couple uh, outlets with a couple USB ports for charging phones or whatnot. Um, we got a nice little medicine cabinet here. Up here, Chris wanted us to you know do an in-motion satellite. We got. Uh, he also wanted a Sony PlayStation 4 installed for his grandkids when he goes and takes them out on the road in the summertime. For, oh, I love Give it. them something to play. So, <laughs> love that. So we got a PlayStation 4 in here as well. Um, and that overhead fan and is, then I love that. we got this overhead fan with lights. Um, people are really loving these. Yes, these I love those. Fans. They, yes. They, they move a lot of air. <laughs> uh, and they're they're very nice. I love that. With our, with our uh, infinity light above it. Thank you, something, something else uh, I'd like to show you too in this unit. We got uh, we got strip lighting up in our overhead cabinets. Oh wow! Um, which makes it very nice to be able to see up there in the in the overheads. Mm -hmm. um, we got a nice convection stainless steel convection oven here. Uh, down here, uh, we got a uh, second water tank. So Chris wanted uh, to double his water capacity. So we got a 30 gallon water tank here and a 30 gallon water tank under his dinette bench here. So, wow. and then the water heater's uh, uh, six gallons. So, so full of, full of water, he's, he's got almost 70 gallons of water uh, on board. And uh, something, else, something else we did in this truck too, as well as we did the Wabasto uh, diesel heater, which, uh, which is a very nice feature. Um, you do not need the generator on to run this uh, this heater. It's all diesel fired, and so you save hours and maintenance costs on your generator. Cool. Man, this truck is truly, truly loaded. And guys, you need to see this rig. And it, the video and, and photos do it no justice. You really need to see this. What cost is a unit like this, man? Well, there's just a lot of variables. Um, you know, he, he had a lot of options in here. Um, a lot of customer supplied items. Um, so something, something like this, you, you could, you could run anywhere from 130 to $170,000, uh, gotcha. depending on all the options. And guys, that's just ballpark figuring now. He's not throwing any, that's not the full price of this unit or anything like that. It's just a, it gives you a idea of what you're looking at when you get ready to come in there. So give him a call and he can spec your rig out and you can actually know exactly what that cost would be. I tell you what, I think we need to get over and uh, talk to Chris and um, 
get his side of the story on why he decided to put this big unit together. How Absolutely. about that? Absolutely. Let's, let's introduce the star of the show here. Let's Chris, do it. Mr. Chris Wittenberg. Hey. hey, Chris, how you doing, man? I'm good. How are you? Oh, I'm, I'm doing fantastic now that I got a chance to come down and actually meet you and get a chance to see your truck, man. I am floored, and I'm hoping that uh, my, my audience is going to love what you've got, man, which I'm sure they will. We're going to sit down here in a moment, and uh, I, I just wanted to get you in real quick with Brandon just to say thank you, man, for giving us the opportunity to come down and uh, profile you and your truck and get a chance to talk to you, and let's get into this interview. Hey, Wills, man, we're down here at ARI having a beautiful time shooting this big, beautiful Volvo back here, and I wanted to take an opportunity to welcome the actual owner chris man thank you thank you thank you for giving me the chance to come down here and, and you guys know that other guy on the side of him brandon thank you man for letting me know that this build was in the works and we've been waiting a while to get get a chance to get down and uh, get this truck in front of me chris man tell me a little bit about this truck what year is this this is a 2021 and this is a, a volvo up of course and uh what wheelbase do you have on this? This is a 341 wheelbase. 340. So Brandon, what size sleeper we got on this? This is 192 inches long. Uh, we, we made it 100 inches high and by 100 inches wide. Chris, what was the inspiration for this design? This design, I wanted a country feel um, in it because um, I love country style and stuff like that. And then, like the grill and the TV you see behind us, just like you said, we down for a couple of days, we can cook out and watch some football or baseball and just relax. Yes, sir, and it is definitely that 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 perfect feel for that. How much does this rig weigh with all the fuel and water and supplies in it? What's what's a ballpark figure for it? Oh, ballpark figure on, on something like this is going to be uh, right around twenty eight thousand pounds, uh, full of fuel, uh, gear, water, and depth. Um, so you'd be you'd be real close to that that number on a Volvo with a with a one ninety two. And Chris, do you plan on adding any graphics or anything to this truck? Me and Brandon have talked about it. We may do something down to the future. Okay. And exactly, who do you work for? I work for United Van Lines. I do household shipments. How long have you worked for them? I've been with uh, United for about 12 years. And you, you say, what, what do you actually haul with this beautiful? Group? I do household goods. Household. Tell everybody, Chris, what, what, what's, a, <laughs> what's your heavy, heaviest load you've with, with something heaviest like thing I've gotten on is 32,000 pounds just so just so the viewers uh, can't say that uh, you're hauling feathers right? no no no, <laughs> no, no feathers. so no no sailboat no, fuel and no, all that no, other stuff no, right no no, no. <laughs> and Brandon you know I really don't like asking you know this question man but the viewers do want to know what's the ballpark cost of a sleeper of this magnitude well, there's, there's a lot of variables there, Quinn. Uh, we have two lines of sleepers. Uh, we got the Legacy 2 line, which are our dealer uh, stock trucks um, that, that we, we spec out, saves, saves the consumer a little bit of money, mm -hmm. um, which I always recommend a first time big bunk buyer uh, going down that road. Um, so they can figure out what they like, what they don't like about the sleeper. Correct. And then they can come back at a later time for their second, third bunk and, and do a custom build. So gotcha. we can we can do full custom builds. Uh, if the customer wants to put their drawers in upside down, we can put their drawer in upside down for them. That's how custom uh, we can do things here at ARI. Cool. So uh, j just depending on whether it's custom Legacy Two, the length of the sleeper, um, the make of the truck, um, there, there there's just a lot of variables there. But but I will give you an average ballpark price of you know say a 156 to uh, 180. Um, out the door with FBT tax, extended warranties, you're, you're probably in that 285 to 305 uh, range um, out the door. And so that's for a tractor with sleeper, correct? That is tractor and sleeper, yes. Okay. And, and if you get on the custom side, depending on how, how extravagant you want to get it uh, with all the options and stuff, um, you can get upwards of that uh, 300,000 mark as well. So. Um, it's just a lot of variables in play there. And Brent, I forgot to ask you something. I mean, I, that it keeps coming across 
my feed and a lot of stuff on our, our channel. Do you stretch frames and all that other stuff that a lot of the guys are, are talking about? We do not stretch frames here. Uh, however, uh, we can do, uh, we can put uh, sleepers on existing trucks if a customer wants, um, but they would, and, and we would work with a customer on, on the wheelbase uh, drawing. If, um, if they wanted to have it stretched, uh, they would be responsible for that. Mm -hmm. um, but I would help provide a print to show um, where carrier bearings, cross members, fuel tanks, fuel tank straps, all of that stuff needed to be placed uh, for the guy, whoever was going to stretch it for him. Gotcha, okay. So guys, that's your answer. They do not stretch frames, but they can get it done for you if you need it. Now, <laughs> Chris, you were saying that uh, this is not your first ball rodeo with uh, big bunks. Uh, how, many, how many big bunks have you had? This will be my second one. Second one. Yes, the sir. first one, how big was the first one? The first one was a 144. And a Legacy 2. And a Legacy, yeah, Legacy 2 sleeper. And uh, Brandon, that Legacy 2 is the series that you guys do for dealerships that they you put them on the lots, correct? With um, Correct. It's like a um, um, a specific unit uh, or, or layout already planned? Yeah, it's a, it's a standard floor plan that we have here at, at ARI. It's not limited to just the dealerships. If somebody wanted to come in and, and spec out a, a Legacy 2, we can do that as well. Um, but uh, but the floor, the, it is a standard floor plan. Uh, everything that we do in those standard floor plans has been created by input from our customers themselves. So when we do updates and changes to those sleepers, um, it's all input from, from our customers. So gotcha. um, the, they're a very workable and very nice uh, layout. So Chris, let everybody know what type of trailer you use in this application, okay? It, and you're not um, pulling pups or uh, no, I, I pull a 53 foot triple drop frame household trailer made out of from Kentucky. And you can be hauling household goods to trade show equipment, correct? correct? Yeah, I strict mostly do household goods, so. Okay. And with right now, and I'm going to put you on the spot, Chris. Okay. Is this your last unit, or do we have something to look forward to in the future? Well, let's talk in the future, but you know, I absolutely love this dream truck that me and Brandon and put together and stuff, the design inside of it and everything. And uh, once again, I know that um, we have uh, someone down here that uh, helped also put this together. And uh, I think she's sending in the mist over here. And uh, who, who might that be? That'd be Kate from Gator Trucking. Kate. Hey, Kate, where are you? Hi. Hey, Kate. Kate, how you doing? I'm good, how are you? Welcome to Elegance on 18 Wheels, dude. We're, as you know, we're spotlighting Chris, and uh, he gave us an opportunity to come and uh, bring you on board, and thank you for coming down and braving the weather that we're enduring here, but I've got to know, what did you think when you were building this truck? Uh. <laughs> overwhelming you know making sure everything's right yeah working with Brandon and working with Chris you know things come up unexpected things so what give me a little bit about your history did, did are, are, is trucking a part of your your background no I was in the car world for 15 years um, I I left um, one of the top five Chevy dealers in the country um, I had been there for 12 years um, to come and do this so I'm really excited to be here because it's pretty cool it is, isn't it? Yeah. And what was some of your concerns when you saw this big truck being built by you being new to the industry? Yeah. What, what went through your mind? I have to figure out how everything works. <laughs> I mean, there's, just, there's a lot of moving parts. There's a lot of, I mean, it has a dishwasher. Yes, it does, doesn't it? You know, that's new and different. So had, had you ever seen or even believed that trucks had some of this stuff in it when you Never. were actually? No. And I tell you what, Kate, I need you to give us your contact information so that our viewers, so guys, if you need a Volvo, I'm sure she's gonna have some awesome opportunity to work with you. Kate, give us your information, how the guys can get in touch with you. You can call me direct, 515-645-7982, or you can email me at ksmith at gatorgatr.net. Kate, thank you so very much for um, 
uh, being a part of the presentation today and uh, giving us your information. And guys, all their information is gonna be located at the bottom. So you can, you can bug this young lady to get your new Volvo built. And Brandon, come on, man. You gotta give me your information. You, you, you slacking on me, come oh, on. Oh, absolutely, Quinn. You know I wouldn't forget that. <laughs> uh, you can reach, uh, call ARI at 260-768-4704. And you can ask for Brandon Sturgis, myself, or Toby Hayward. And uh, you can email me at bsturgis at legacysleepers.com or thayward at legacysleepers.com. And Quinn, I'm gonna tell you, man, Kate's doing a phenomenal job out there at Gator Volvo. She is uh, selling the crap out of these things. They are flying off her lot. Uh, she can't keep them on her lot. She is coming and picking them up. And as soon as she's getting them out to the dealerships, they are sold. If not, already sold by the time she comes to pick them up. So um, I will let everybody know that uh, she does have 45 trucks on order with us this year. Um, so there is, is plenty of opportunity for everybody uh, who is interested in a Volvo Big Bump um, to, you know, we, we would have a chassis for you uh, if you would like to spec a sleeper out and, and we can get you in, in something uh, this year. You hear that, guys? 45. This young lady is about to be busy for 2021. So, guys, on that note, we come to the point in our video where, Chris, is there anyone that you would like to say thank you and give any appreciation to? Yeah, I'd like to thank my uh, owner at Vincent Pfister, uh, in Lexington, Kentucky. Mike Pfister has been a huge part of my success and my trucks. Also, I'd like to thank Brandon working with him side by side on this truck. He's done an amazing job. And also Kate at the Volvo dealer there in Gator, working together as a team. Outstanding. And guys, this is Quinn, Elegance on 18 Wheels. Hey, we're getting ready to go out here and we're going to pull this truck out in the snow. And uh, we're going to be licking the bumper because this truck is absolutely beautiful and that's what I do. So, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you once again for coming down. Kate, thank you for going through the weather to get over here a bit, spend some time with us. Chris, thank you for giving us the opportunity to come down. And Brandon, as always, man, I'm always bugging you, so you know, just nothing new to you, so. Thank you so very much, and guys, let's go look at this beautiful truck. Thanks, Quinn. Thanks, Quinn. Thank you. Turn We got awning lights too.